Good afternoon. This is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month here at the 364th ESC. And we have with us today Mr. Mark Fogg, who's our Drug and Alcohol Program Manager. So just based on the research, and thank you for coming, uh, Mr. Fogg, based on the research with regard to suicidal ideations, we know that there is a component for substance abuse there. And I'd like to kind of speak to that so that you can give our, our soldiers, our family members and civilians some more information uh, about responsible drinking and about your program. Yeah, so we know uh, from statistics and research that with suicidal ideations or death by suicide, there's a lot of indicators that lead up to that, and alcohol or and or drug is prevalent in a lot of those cases. Okay, and, and, that, and that's certainly true. And I don't think that people or anyone actually realizes the effect of the alcohol and what might happen with their thought processes. So it's just important, especially if there are events going on, there's alcohol on board. Are they, you know, what do those risks look like? Well, with uh, the consumption of too much alcohol or, or the use of uh, drugs, either uh, illegal drugs or drugs that have been prescribed, just taking uh, out of what the doctor prescribed, okay. tends to dull your senses. It, it uh, gives you that sense of um, you lose responsibility of, of yourself and you, and you tend to take more risks. So their inhibitions have been lowered because of the alcohol. So you mentioned something really important about a prescription drug that's actually under a doctor's care, but actually you're not taking it as, as prescribed. And that puts you at risk. Can you speak a little bit more as a, about the amount of alcohol that could be consumed that, that's gonna be a problem down the road? Well, we promote uh, responsible drinking, not you know abstinence from drinking. Um, so with responsible drinking, generally, the public uh, soldiers have no real uh, long-lasting issues and problems with that. However, everybody's different. Okay. Um, what, what I want to talk about is more like uh, binge drinking or uh, alcohol abuse. Oh, okay, that's a buzzword. You said binge drinking. So can you tell us exactly what is that? If I just have two drinks, is, is that binge drinking? No, so binge drinking is actually a, uh, the consumption of a lot of alcohol within a short period of time. So for instance, um, for men, it would be five drinks within like a two hour time frame, or for a female, four drinks within a two hour time frame with the intent of, of getting that buzz or, or drunk, which is actually above the zero point uh, or eight um, blood alcohol content. Right. Okay. Wow. And, and that just, you know, it didn't sound like a lot, but it can be. And your system just can't process that amount of alcohol. Is that what you're saying? Right. It, you know, for everybody, you know, the, the general term uh, is like one beer or, or uh, alcoholic beverage per hour. Um, your body can, can kind of maintain that level. Mm -hmm. um, Every, like I said, though, everybody is different. Their metabolism is different and stuff like that. So as a okay. general rule, one drink per an hour, okay. not, not to have exceed too many drinks over a period of time, though. Well, I think we're getting some good information out there because we want them just to be aware what what's happening inside their body when they're consuming the alcohol. And I'm concerned that there's going to be that point where those thoughts are going to start getting dark because that is that still that correlate that we talked about earlier. Suicide prevention and substance abuse, the, it, it pops up there. So I want to put it out there, responsible drinking, just as you're telling us today. So if somebody wanted to find out more about that and what your program does, how would they go about doing that? Well, every unit has what they call a unit prevention leader. Um, okay. So that's someone who's trained uh, with my program as a subject matter expert for that company. Um, their primary duty is drug testing. Okay. However, their secondary mission is to provide education and training to the unit, to the soldiers, as well as to be the advocate for the soldier at the unit. Okay, so that's something that every unit has and they need to be able to be able to talk to that person and be safe about it. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, so if, say for instance, somebody 
um, does have an alcohol or a drug issue or problem, um, what they can do is go forward to that subject matter expert, the UPO, okay. um, and advise that they have this problem. Um, that will go all the way up to the commander, um, what is called the limited use policy. Okay. And what this policy does is it protects the soldier from prior incidences, and then the commander is obligated to get the soldiers some help and assistance. Okay. The only caveat to that mm -hmm. is is that that help and assistance is usually provided through the soldier's private health care insurance. Okay. But if they don't have health care insurance, the Army does have some programs at low cost or no cost to the soldier to get some sort of uh, okay. counseling or treatment. So this is great information and you're saying that there is a provision for that if a soldier wants to reach out because they're always going to be concerned about their career but we do have that provision and it's under that policy so I appreciate you sharing that. But because we're now in, in the grips of just making sure that accurate information is out there, I'm so grateful for the opportunity uh, to have you share that information. We want our soldiers to know there's provisions. We want them to be aware of what responsible drinking looks like and that we could be at risk for binge drinking, which is putting our body sensory overload and we can't process it and that there's that possibility of having those dark thoughts. So with that, we just want to make it safe because that's what we do here in the 364th is when has have someone come forward and that that seeking help is a sign of strength. So we want our soldiers to know that we care and we want them to be here tomorrow. Absolutely.